Father's Day by Anne Rockwell. Pictures by Lizzie Rockwell. To Ken and David. This is the title page. Today we are making books about our dads. I'm writing about how my dad is so strong, he can still carry me. I'm as tall as the sky when I'm up on his shoulders. Papa sings his favorite song to me if Mama has to work at night, Eveline said. It's the one his Mama and Papa sing to him. She hummed the tune, and we stopped writing to listen. Mrs. Madoff reminded us, Remember, we need quiet when we write. So Eveline stopped humming, and we went back to work. After a while, Evan raised his hand. How do you spell skillet? He asked Mrs. Madoff. She said S-K-I-L-L-E-T. He erased something he'd written and wrote it again. I was sure he was writing about the camping trip he and his dad went on, just the two of them. Evan told me that they slept in a tent and cooked bacon and eggs in a skillet. Jessica chewed on the end of her pencil. I don't know who to write about, she whispered. I have two fathers, my dad who lives in Texas and Lou who lives here with me and mom. Write about both of them, I said. Hey, why didn't I think of that, she said. When it was time to read what we'd written, Charlie went first. My father is a terrific person. He has lots of friends, and I know why. He never gets mad or loses patience. He says he can't, because when you're the pilot of a big jet plane, you always have to keep your cool. Jessica read next. I have two fathers and love them both. My dad Bradley lives in Texas and knows all about horses. My stepfather Lou has never even been on a horse. He always plays giggle bugs with me after work, even if he's tired. Sarah read, My father is great at everything. Yes, everything in the world. He's such a great cook, he should be a chef on TV. You should taste his chocolate marshmallow minty fudge. It's delicious. Pablo held his paper close to his face. I feel so proud when Poppy and I play soccer. Poppy shows me how to kick and dribble. Every time I practice with him, I get better. Poppy plays on a team in town with his friends. He says that one day I'll be a better player than him. Kate said, I wrote a poem for my dad. Is that okay? Of course, said Mrs. Madoff. Kate read the poem, which went, Daddy taught me to dive and to find a beehive. When I caught three shiny fish, we put them in a yellow dish. For a long time, I drew pictures of me in a bright pink room, Michiko said. I told my father how much I wanted a bright pink room. One day we went to the hardware store, and now my dream has come true. My father and I painted my room summer rose because that's the color I picked. My dad reads all the time, Nicholas read. We like reading the same kind of books. After lunch, we took our stories to the publishing center. Michiko's mother was helping there that day. She printed copies for all the dads. On the Friday in June before Father's Day, we came to school with our dads. We gave them our books. All of a sudden, a man in a cowboy hat got out of a pickup truck and ran to Jessica. Dad, I didn't know you were coming, she said as they hugged each other. I wanted to surprise you, he said. Jessica had two dads at the Father's Day picnic. We had cupcakes and brownies. Sarah said the brownies were almost as good as the ones her dad makes. My dad read his book again and again. Each time he read it, he gave me a hug. The end.